In this lesson, we're going to set up your profile, at least the rest of your profile that didn't get set up during Startup Wizard. So in here in Sprout Studio, I'm already loaded into settings under the account section and into the users section here. And I've got just the one user here set up. I'm gonna open this up. Now, everything that you see that is filled out already is something that was filled out during Startup Wizard. So if I open up the profile tab here, I've got my username, my password, my email, my phone number. There's another section here for your profile that shows up on a few of the front end pages for your clients. So go ahead and paste your profile information into here, whatever makes sense for you. Go down here into the user settings section, and this is where you can specify a few of the different uh, toggles and configurations for temperature, what kind of temperature do you wanna be showing in Celsius or in Fahrenheit, your gallery upload mode, you want it to be in ultra fast mode, in normal mode or in slow mode if you have slower internet connection. Do you want to turn the report sample mode on or off? Do you wanna turn the hints on or off? And actually you can see there, these little hints right here are what you can toggle on or off. So if you're not interested in having those hints available on all the pages, you can just turn those off right there. Next thing is what is your time zone in your account for your own uh, user profile? So you can choose that. Next is the theme. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and switch on over to the classical theme because I love that theme. And so for the rest of Sprout School, we're gonna have that theme running. Down here is notifications. So what do you want Sprout to notify you of? And you can choose both in Sprout and via email. So you can turn these on or off based on your own preferences. We go down here into calendar. This is where you can set up your calendar. And we're actually gonna set up this in a separate Sprout lesson because I think it's important to run through separately. So we're gonna leave this part alone for now. And we're gonna go down here into email. Now this is where you can specify for each of your brands, what email do you want to use for that brand by default? And I can also click here and edit that and set up either just a normal Sprout Studio email, which is what happens by default. Now when you use that, the from address will always be no reply at SproutStudio.com. However, when your clients reply, it'll go to your normal email. You can choose to integrate with uh, Google here if you wanna do Google or Yahoo or Hotmail or iCloud and put in all of your information there, or you can set up an SPF record with all of the instructions right here. SPF record is the most reliable form of setting it up. It's a little bit more technical. However, if you set up an SPF record, you're more likely to have your emails land in the inbox as opposed to the promotions tab or the spam tab. So that is my recommendation. Otherwise, that is how you set up your user profile in Sprout Studio.